CHOP, which is the crew hands-off point. As I was mentioning earlier, if there is an abort, it will need to be done autonomously by Dragon. All right, we did get confirmation. Approach two has been initiated. So Dragon now uh, making its way inside the 20 meter hold point at about 18 meters and closing. Final approach of Endeavor to dock with the International Space Station has started. Docking expected in about three and a half minutes from now. You can see on your screen as Crew Dragon slowly approaches towards that port for docking. That's right, we're 13 meters and closing, making a slow and methodical approach to the docking port. That's on the forward end of the International Space Station, that international docking adapter where Crew Dragon Endeavor has docked once before. Copy, 10 meters. And what that call out was, is Crew Dragon is just 10 meters away from the International Space Station as it continues its approach for docking. Docking will uh, occur in two phases. There will, there will be a soft capture followed by a hard capture. And what that hard capture means is 12 physical hooks will connect the Dragon to the space station. Great views, Dragon just six meters away as the station and Dragon fly in tandem 263 statute miles over the South Indian Ocean in the background. Five meters. We're five meters and closing. Copy five meters. start to see the detail on Dragon there as it is closing in on docking. That's right, two and a half meters, 30 seconds. Crew hands off point, it's called out. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop, soft capture confirmed. Happy soft capture confirmed. Great news with that call out, that soft capture is confirmed. That's right, that soft capture time, 2.08 a.m. Pacific time, 4.08 a.m. Eastern. The station and Dragon connected 264 statute miles over the South Indian Ocean. Endeavor connected to International Space Station for the second time. And 
There are still a few steps to complete before Dragon is securely attached. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop, soft capture ring retraction in progress. That's good, the ring retraction yeah, is happening. Ring retraction happening as expected. And after the ring retracts, 12 hooks will latch six at a time to perform a hard capture and will officially mate uh, Dragon to the International Space Station. Got this really awesome view of Dragon as it is connected to the port currently uh, making progress on hard capture. Soft capture ring retraction does take, take some time. It is uh, continuing at its anticipated speed. Things are looking good. Again, this is the first in a series of steps to officially mate Dragon to the station. If you're just joining us, we heard the call out, call out for soft capture confirmed at 2.08 a.m. Pacific time, 4.08 a.m. Eastern time. Station and uh, Dragon were 264 statute miles over the South Indian Ocean at the time of contact and capture. We're still in the process of retracting the soft capture ring and anticipating uh, proceeding with uh, the hard capture sequence, where 12 hooks will drive to officially mate Dragon with the International Space Station's international docking adapter at the forward port. Crew Dragon Endeavor docked to that forward port for the second time. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop. Ring retraction is complete. Docking sequence is holding for MCS reconfiguration. Endeavor copies off. If you're just now joining us, as you can see on your screen, Crew Dragon has made contact with the International Space Station. And we're currently in progress of... Endeavor and Station, MCS is configured, proceeding with hook driving. Endeavor copies. Station copies. Great timing there. Uh, 
this is now the beginning of the hard capture sequence. This is where 12 hooks will latch between Dragon and the space station, six hooks at a time. This will take uh, a few minutes to complete. That's right, that MCS uh, is uh, just a configuring the International Space Station's attitude control. It needed to be configured uh, differently between a soft capture and hard capture sequence. So now that that's been confirmed, they can go ahead and press to uh, drive the 12 hooks needed to confirm a hard capture. To reiterate, the uh, Dragon uh, had contact and capture with the space station at 2.08 a.m. Pacific time, 5.08 a.m. Eastern. Space Station and Dragon crossing over the Terminator line just south of Australia. About to head over the uh, South Pacific Ocean. Start seeing the views of Dragon get a little bit dimmer as we still undergo the hard capture sequence. All right, again, we're uh, still undergoing the hard capture sequence. There's 12 hooks that drive to officially mate Dragon to the International Space Station, six of them driving currently. Station attitude configured to support the hard capture sequence. Now operating on control moment gyros to maintain attitude control during the hard capture sequence. All right, and uh, we have confirmation. The first set of hooks, all six have been driven. They look good. The second set are driving and are looking good at the uh, anticipated speed. Halfway there. This will take just a couple more minutes uh, for hard capture to complete. As a reminder, after hard capture is complete, they do still have uh, some more steps that they need to go through in, in order to ensure that the space station and Dragon are safe for crew ingress. Uh, there will be the hatch opening uh, as the crew as well, the crew on board Dragon as well as the, the station will be walking through some procedures. prior to ingress of the crew to crew on the International Space Station. But once they do ingress on the station, there will be a welcome ceremony. Again, half of the hard capture hooks uh, have been driven and locked into place. The second set of six hooks, 12 total, six of them uh, driving. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop, hard capture is complete. You are go to open visors.
Copy hard capture complete. Opening visors. All right. Crew Dragon Endeavor officially made it to the <laughs> International Space Station. That dynamic period of the docking phase is complete. Uh, the crew inside Dragon have been wearing their suits just as an extra, per extra precaution, uh, but they can go ahead and pull up their visors. It's going to be some time until the hatches themselves are open between Dragon and the International Space Station. Still some uh, things to configure on that side. The vestibule on the International Docking Adapter uh, in that separates the hatches of Dragon and the International Space Station. That's been exposed to the vacuum of space and has had the sun shining on it periodically. Uh, so when pressuring, uh, repressurizing the vestibule to equal the pressure inside the space station. Station, heart capture complete. Welcome to ISS. We are so excited to have you aboard. Thanks, Anna. We're glad to be here. We'll see you all in a few minutes. International Space Station Commander Shannon Walker welcoming the crew. Our crew two officially made it to the International Space Station. Again, it's going to be some time until they come in, but the uh, commander of the International Space Station welcoming four new crew members for her expedition uh, on board here shortly. All right, so again, there's a series of steps here as we enter into an orbital nighttime, completing the uh, docking of Crew Dragon Endeavor to the International Space Station for a second time. That contact and uh, capture occurring at uh, 2.08 a.m. Pacific time, 5.08 a.m. Eastern. We have a confirmed hard capture. The umbilical is in motion to connect uh, the station to the Dragon and provide data and power and communication through that umbilical so it no longer has to rely on its own systems. Uh, everything's looking good uh, for that vehicle. It's going to be some time again until we repressurize the vestibule and get those hatches open between uh, the Dragon and uh, the International Space Station. Uh, it'll be the crew inside the station getting that ready to be opened.